What are modules? Um, in Canvas, in our Learn sections, we've got what are called modules. Uh, modules allow you to organize your content to help control the flow of your course. Um, they are used to organize course content either by weeks, by units, or any other different organizational structure that works really for your class. So I would be thinking about these modules. They're really shells, shells that you can then use to format the way that you're setting up your course. What you will see is we've already built some modules for you. Um, a templates for teacher, which has an assignment template, quiz, and discussion board template. And then we've got these teacher modules as well about Canvas. It gives you some great um, getting started videos, helpful hints, and additional support. Um, if you want to add a module, I just go up to the top and I can click plus module. And I'm going to name this one just kind of as a practice module. And I'm going to click Add Module. Now it always puts your most recent module at the bottom, which you'll see right here. Um, and then each module can contain either files, discussions, assignments, quizzes, and other learning materials that you'd like to use. And it's pretty easy to add those. All I have to do is click on the plus icon, and it's going to give me those options where I can add an assignment, a quiz, I can upload a file, a page, a discussion, um, a header, um, some external URLs, or some external tools. Um, and all I have to do is I click on the assignment, and we want to make sure that it's a new one if it's brand new for you. And then we're going to name it just as, for example, um, practice assignment. Um, I can indent it um, just to show that it's kind of layered, or I don't have to indent it. Now, what that does is it just brings me my assignment here. Now, a couple things just to note when I'm adding these. Assignments are going to be something that's tied to work. Students are going to be working on a quiz is their quizzes or um, discussion could be Google Forms that you're going to embed in. Um, I can upload files. Pages are just page content. There's no assignment or uh, submission form that goes with that. Um, discussions are kind of like discussion boards um, and it's ways for kids to answer questions and have dialogue back and forth. Um, just a text header is going to break up your um, module so that you can have different layers within it. And then you can put some external URLs. Now, once I add my assignment, um, all that I did was I clicked the plus button and I added. So, um, for example, I'm going to add a quiz too, and I'm just going to call this one a practice quiz. You're going to see that all it actually does is adds the item for you. To be able to go into these, I'd have to actually click the practice assignment, and it's going to open up really the format of this page. Now I can go up and I can click the edit button, and then this opens that rich content editor. Okay, I'm going to um, click cancel real quick just to show you one more thing. Um, when we were in our modules, like I said before, we've got these practice templates or assignment template. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this assignment template. Um, one thing that I can do from here is I can just highlight everything in here and I can right click it and copy. Um, and then when I go back to that module where I put my practice assignment and I open it, I can click my edit button. And then right here I can right click and I can paste that content right in there. Um, that's one way that you can continue utilizing these, um, these um, templates. Um, another really easy way that I can reutilize a template, I'm going to save this one just so that you can see it. But I can go back to that very first module where I see this assignment template. And over on the right hand side where I see my three dots, I can duplicate that. And then what it's going to do is it's going to drop it here um, for me. And then I can just grab this knowing that I'm going to be needing it um, as that practice assignment. I'm just going to drag it to the very bottom of my page. And I'm going to put it right here. Now, one thing that you'll notice is now I've got this um, assignment template in this practice module. Um, of course, it would be great if it was named correctly. So if I just click my three dots and click the edit field, I can go in here now and type in, this is my practice assignment for module. Okay, and I click update. And now when I open this up, you'll see that this format is also already embedded into the page. Thank you.